Hi, this is Monica from Oma's Place. Are you new to embroidery? Or maybe new to computers and feeling a little overwhelmed with all that needs to be learned? I thought maybe it would help you if I did a little tutorial on how to unzip the files that you have downloaded from us. So let's assume you have received the download link after your purchase. You have saved it to somewhere on your computer and now you're wondering how you can access your stitch files. I have saved a um, zip file on my computer just for this purpose here. Okay, here is our zipped up blue mug work. A zip may be wrapped or packaged like this. This looks a little bit like a stack of books to me. Uh, some zips have an actual zipper on it. Um, there are all sorts of ways that these will look, but what is a zip? A zip basically is, I think, just like a wrap around a package and it holds things together and condenses them, holds them in place and making them easier to ship. But you can't use this zip on your embroidery machine. You need to have an actual stitch file. So what you do is you right click on this and it gives you various options that you could do. Go to extract files and click left click on that. Open it up and it will ask you where do you want to put this. And usually the default is the folder that you are in right now. And that's what I'm going to say is okay. I don't need it to go anywhere else. Okay, and what it did, it took it out of that zip, but left the zip intact and gave me a new folder called Bloom Mug Rug. Okay, let's see what's inside. There's a subfolder in there also called Bloom Mug Rug. Let's click on that. And what you have is all the stitch files listed as well as folders with color charts and a folder with instructions. Now for a mug rug, I just want to mention here that the color charts are really not worth a whole lot because they show colors, but the colors will depend on what fabrics you're using. So the color charts may be appropriate for what I did, but when you use your own fabrics, those may not be the right thing anymore. Anyway, if you click on that, you will see the color charts and all of those are named by CC and behind it. Okay. All right. Instructions. Very important. Several of you in the past have written and said there are no instructions included because we have only one folder called instructions that has the instructions. We do not place them in each formats folder because it would make the zip that you're getting very large if we did that. Okay, so let's say you need PES files for your particular machine. We will click on this, and there are the three files that come with the Bloom mug rug. You would like to do, let's say, the birthday mug rug. You click on that, left click, or you could just right click right away, and you will then say, drop down here and say copy. You could also do a control C on your keyboard. All right, we have this copied. Now, where do we want to go with this? We want to put this on our USB stick, right? Okay, so we go out to computer and the USB stick I know is the removable disk here for me. It might be named differently for you. You need to know what that is. You click on that and you right click with your mouse and drop down here and it says paste, paste it into your folder. And it is now ready to be taken to your machine, plugged in and ready to be stitched. I'd like to go back where we were to the folder where we were here and you may not want to keep all of the other formats, so you could discard all of these. 
Before you do though, remember that the color charts are only contained out here. They are not with each stitch file. So you might want to grab the files that are in there and you grab them by clicking on the first file, dropping down. Let's do that again. Clicking on the first file, holding down the shift key on your keyboard and clicking on the last file. Drop down to the control key right underneath the shift key and right click with your mouse on the screen somewhere and say copy. Back arrow and go into the PES folder. Now right click and there it gives you the option to paste what you just copied from the other folder. Alright, you also really want the instructions. And so you click on the instructions folder, left click on the first file, hold your shift key down, click on the last one, and then drop down to control just like we did before. Right click, copy back arrow and back to the PES folder, right click, paste. And now you have all of your files in there. If they were all messed up, one PDF file, one PES, another PDF file, and you wanted to organize it, there is a way to do that. See where it says type up here? Just click on that and it will organize your files for you. All right, um, I hope this is helpful to you. Remember, you can now go in here and left click on art, hold the shift key down, go to the last one, the Jeff and the JPEG. You can now hit the delete key on your keyboard and get rid of those. SHV, click on that. Shift key down to the last one, right click and delete. And you're left with only the PS folder, which is the which are the formats that you need. Okay, let's say you get a new sewing machine, a new embroidery machine, and you suddenly need the VP3 format. And you say, oh man, I wish I hadn't deleted that VP3 format. It really is no problem. Remember, you have a personal purchase history and you can go out to the website, log in and go to your purchase history, which is up at the right top of the screen and just re-download your designs from there. Okay? Have a fun time stitching these designs and if you have any questions, problems at all, feel free to write us and we'll try to answer as soon as we can. Have fun stitching!